So for step six, section A uh, is basically building up the side frames. We'll open this uh, hardware pack that was in the same bag as the side frames. We have some frame spacers, some screws with nuts which are used for the bottom plate, uh, the conversion arm which uses 2.5 millimeter screws, and the hardware to install all the bearing blocks. All these screws are the same size. One of the earlier hardware packs uh, that we opened up with the motor mounts have the motor mount uh, screws in them. Uh, they are the same length. All these screws are the same length. So you may need those after a while too. So I'm going to gather up all my bearing blocks and I can take this opportunity since the red Loctite is fully cured out to just add a, a drop of oil to these bearings. And these uh, secondary drive gear bearings I think it's really important because they're running about 10,000 RPM and they need some lubrication. Just put it right there on the crack between the shield and the inner race. It'll work in. Now you start out with the outer side frame. So we'll start installing the bearing blocks on the outer side frames. Uh, the, the bearing block, the deep V in the bearing blocks goes aft and the uh, top bearing, the bearing goes up. Uh, we don't tighten anything up until after we get to a point where we can slide the main rotor shaft in to make sure everything's aligned. The middle bearing, bearing block, the bearing goes down. And the bottom bearing block, the bearing goes down, feet of the back. And you want these loose, but these middle ones, if you put just a skosh, uh, then you can put this uh, main shaft shield in 
and the flat piece on the main shaft seal goes towards the top and that allow the bottom of it to click into the the holder the bearing holder and you can install the motor mount the motor mount uh, goes with the bearing or the, the flat side facing up or the bearing, bearing facing the bottom these are slotted so you can adjust the backlash Leave these loose also for until we get the side frames in. Then the there's some frame spacers with a hole in them, and they go towards the back. Uh, if you're doing the scale kit, don't use a beauty washer on this back bottom frame spacer. or it'll hit the nacelle cover. Leave it loose. Then there's a frame spacer without a hole in it and it goes in the the new hole that we drilled up here. And that'll build up that outside frame assembly. I'll do the the other side real quick. Bearing up, feet of, bearing down, feet of the back. Bearing down, feet of the back. Motor mount, the uh, flat goes up and the bearing goes towards the other bearings. Frame spacer with a hole in it goes in the back one. The other frame spacer without the hole in it goes uh, where that new hole was drilled up top. Okay, and there's the side frame buildups.